Welcome back, everybody. So when you think of the perfect summer backyard barbecue, you generally think of hamburgers and cheeseburgers, right? I do, and yeah. I, I love grilling out with the family, especially in the summers. Uh, and we have done a lot of chicken, but I don't think I've ever used an actual chicken Burger. Well, you're going to love what we're doing today, Rick. You have come to the right place because today I'm making a chili chicken burger with Sargento's new four cheese Southwest blends that gives it a really unique flavor experience. And yes, you know what? A lot of people don't think of having chicken burgers. They think of turkey burgers. They yeah. think of veggie burgers or just regular beef burgers. But chicken is nice. It's a nice change. It's a little lighter. You know what I mean? As an athlete, you must appreciate that. I appreciate the lean meats. Yeah, the lean meats. And, and chicken somehow is better for you. You know, it's a lot less fat. So let's you. get started. I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. We are going to add um, some green chilies into this okay, delicious. Okay, spicy. Yes, into my delicious ground chicken. So basically, you just start with the ground chicken. Now, where would we get the ground chicken? At any grocery store. Okay. You can buy it packaged. If you don't want to buy it packaged and you would like to actually have your butcher make it, I would say have them ground um, a chicken breast and some chicken thighs. Mm. So you get a little bit of the fat in there because you don't want to dry it. You know, chicken dries out quickly, right. the breast does. So you start with your ground chicken. You're going to mm. add some panko, panko breadcrumbs, yeah. just like that. Some green chilies straight from the can, you nothing special. You said spicy. I said spicy. <laughs> some cilantro, lime juice. Nice. Oh, Ooh, lime, oh, lime, lime juice. zest. Is that you feel, do you, do you yeah. taste it? Yeah. Lime zest. So much flavor. This is it's great. Really yeah. good. Some lime zest, a little bit of garlic or a lot of garlic, depending on what you like. I like it garlicky. Like yeah. Right? Same Some here. ground cumin. Okay. I mean, this ah, is a meal for an athlete. Cumin. Yeah, yeah. Some I pepper and some salt. Some salt to taste. You're going to mix that okay. all together. And once you get that combined completely, what I like to do to make my burgers uniform is I like to use an ice cream scoop. So I know everybody's ah. getting the same size burger. So an ice cream scoop would give you about what size? About uh, that big. Okay, I, yeah. I like my burgers about like, okay. the size of my hand. So. Well, I've not seen <laughs> an ice cream scoop that big yet. <laughs> Is that a double scoop? <laughs> That's no, a double, 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 double baby. Scoop. We're gonna get a double so scoop. So you know what, I'll make yours a little bit bigger. How about that? <laughs> So once you've combined all this and you've made your patties, what you want to do is put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Now, now why the refrigerator? Because, because, you know, chicken has less fat, like I said. Yeah. It doesn't have um, as much collagen. So if you put this burger straight on the grill, yeah. it's going to start to fall apart in the grill. You want it to really set and come together. Well, that explains oh. the last 20 years of my grilling. There, yeah, exactly. All, all <laughs> the falling apart. Falls yeah. in it. And you know, sometimes I add an egg. I put an egg in there as well, but the egg will make it pop up some. So you want to put your thumb in the middle of it and go like that so you don't get like a big meatball. Uh. Oh. Just so you know. And that, that's really good if you're doing it inside. Okay. So here are chicken burgers that have been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. We're going to come over here and we're going to put them on a grill yeah. that is, has been uh, preheated. What do you heat it to? 350 to 400 degrees. Okay. Listen to that sizzle. And you're gonna uh, I love that sound. Right here. See how they're, they're not falling through? Oh, they're so no. nice. No. For about four to five minutes on each side. Remember, we'll it's it chicken, so it's not like red meat. Red meat doesn't have to be cooked all the way through. All right, so you leave it on the grill. Four, four to five, five minutes, and then you flip it again, four flip to five again. minutes. You want the um, internal temperature to be 165. Okay. So, you know, if you don't have a, a thermometer, thermometer it's three dollars. Really, just go get yourself. <laughs> I mean, it is. It's three dollars. I love how there is one. no DIY. You're like, just buy <laughs> the unicorn people. Just buy I mean, it's chicken. You don't want to mess around with chicken. You know what I mean? Debbie, is this one of those things where you don't want to flip flip? Which I no. Remember, you didn't learn anything from the last burger set. <laughs> leave it's it four minutes. Thing. Leave it four minutes okay. and then flip four minutes. I mean, Done. it's controversial. <laughs> I see cheese. Yes. Yeah. We get, to, we get to add cheese. You What's cannot, the perfect way, though, so it doesn't melt? You cannot have a burger without mm. cheese. So we are using my favorite, by the way, Sargento Blends. This is a brand new product. It's 100% real natural cheese, and they have a bunch of really unique blends to choose from. So then basically what you want to do is you put this on the grill. You move your burgers over to the side of the grill okay. that is no longer on. So the grill, you'll have this side on. You turn this one off. Got you it. put it over here, and you put the cheese on while it's on the grill. So that gives you the perfect melt. It gives you the perfect melt because you don't want to put cold cheese on a warm burger and then expect it to melt. Just leave right. it there for a second, second or two. And and Sargento has a lot of different flavor profiles. So depending on the flavor profile you're going for, you can add really delicious new flavors to experience a, a different flavor profile to your food. So that's nice. So <laughs> once you've made your burgers, you bring There's them over so here. so much flavor mm -hmm. in this. Isn't that nice? Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we build. Oh, first, I, I forgot. I, I nearly forgot. We're making our chipotle mayo. Mm. You tasting okay. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. So this go. just starts with mayonnaise, 
some chipotle that has been almost ground into a paste, again, from the can. Some chives, very simple. Salt, pepper, and lime juice again. Mix that all together. Do you like it spicy? Yeah, I do. I do, <laughs> you I do, really right? do. I think you're right on track with this. Okay. Do you like it extra spicy or just yeah. a little spicy? <laughs> yeah. I'll take and it as hot be, as we can get it. I could that add could more. be used on <laughs> other stuff, right? This could be added. It's really good. good. It's really good. And the lime the lime juice adds to, to it. And it kind of gives it a little kick. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it yeah, sort of definitely. kind of makes it almost lighter. Right. Yeah, it mean, does. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, so now we build. You ready to build, Yeah, Rick? let's see. How, how do we build this? Where do we start? We got our bun? Our bun, our brioche, brioche bun. bun. So you start yeah. with your brioche bun. You can, can you go. toast them if you wanted to? Yes. Okay. Yes. You throw that on the grill. Put some of this delicious chipotle mayo on, just like that. Then we add our lettuce. Vegetables, yeah, yeah, you know. Vegetables, right? <laughs> yeah. Then you add your burger with the cheese. Yeah. Then you add your tomato. Fruit. Look at this. Yeah, fruit. <laughs> there you go. A little more. A little more of that, just like that. Why not? And there you go. Oh, I'll take a photo. Beautiful. Yeah. I think yeah. beautiful. It's perfect. Yes. I think that is well uh, uh, a championship ring. How about a toast, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Let me know what you think. All righty, here we go. This is the best part. Ready? Oh. Get in there. <laughs> yeah. Best chicken burger. Is it a slam dunk, would you say? Slam dunk, yeah. A I like slam that. dunk.